Hi, it's Pastor Liz from our Savers Lutheran Church. Many of us love the stained glass windows in our churches, and I wonder if we know why we have them. Part of the purpose of our stained glass windows is to tell the stories of God and Jesus in a way that people who can't even read can understand. They inspire us and help us to know God better. During this time of social distancing and under a stay-at-home order, I invite you to create your own windows as your own stained glass windows. Now, I'm not asking you to get out the glass and the solder, but to think of what you have in your home and what's available to you as ways that you can share God's love and the stories of God's love with your neighbors this week. So I have two options. The first might be the most accessible. You may have heard that people are putting up hearts in their windows as a sign that we are all in this together, that by staying home, we are sharing love and that we wish to share love and share good thoughts with our neighbors and those who are on their way to work or out for a walk. What you might do throughout Holy Week is to slowly add hearts to your windows until we get to Easter Sunday and your windows are a big explosion of hearts, reminding you of Jesus' love for the world and helping your neighbors to feel a sense of that love. You might include in your hearts and your cutout pictures signs of all the days of Holy Week. So on Monday, Thursday, you might cut out and paste a basin and towel, reminding you of Jesus washing the disciples' feet and our call to wash one another's feet, serving each other in love. You might include symbols of bread and wine, remembering Holy Communion as an opportunity to experience Jesus' love poured out for all of us. On Good Friday, you might include a cross, reminding yourself and your neighbors that Jesus died on the cross to show God's great love for the whole world. On Easter morning, you might include Alleluia, signs of butterflies, flowers, anything that reminds you of new life and hope that comes even after despair. Another option could be to create your own stained glass windows by painting your windows. Now, I haven't tried this yet, and I can't guarantee how well it'll work to clean it off, so please do this at your own risk. But others have shared with me that they've used washable paint, either like washable um, Crayola paint that your kids might have, or washable tempera paint that's been mixed with a little bit of dish soap. What you might do on Thursday is to outline your window with painter's tape or to draw a sketch of what your window might look like. On Friday, you might put out painter's tape to divide up sections on your window. And if you put a cross in your window, you might paint that. On Saturday, when we remember the disciples who waited and thought their friend had died forever, you might continue to work on your painting in of your window. On Easter morning, I invite you to take down the strips of painter's tape. And by doing that, to look through your window out into the world and to remember that the joy and the message of Jesus' resurrection and God's great love for all is meant not just for you and your household, but is meant for the whole world, including your neighbors. So take this opportunity to display your faith, share your faith with your neighbors so that all might know God's love.